Hey, Kevin, what are you measuring? I'm trying to count with my boots on, and it's not working very well. I'm working on a fountain here, and you know it, it'll look something like this when I get done with it. And what I'm trying to do right now is I need spacers. I need I need little pipes to go underneath these dishes. They need to be just the right height. So when I get all eight of these dishes on the base, it's only 40, 40 inches tall. So we need to be able to divide, figure out how deep each dish is, how long the pipe has to be. Don't forget to put the angle on the pipe. Got to do that too. And got to do all this math here. God, I hate math. So once I figured out how tall that bottom dish is, it's six inches. I could just mark on the table and then start spacing out the other seven dishes that I need all the way up to 40 inches and then just kind of divide and figure out how long my pipes have to be. So they're going to wind up being about three and a quarter to about three and a half inches long. But don't forget that pesky angle. So this is the pipe that's going to wind up holding the next dish, you know, this dish up above this one. And I got this great big old gap, so I got to get that angle just right. How do you do that? We're back to that darn math again. A steel protractor, and it took me forever to figure out how this actually worked. Now this was something that was left over in the toolbox from my older brother after he passed away. So little sentimental attachment here. I have no idea how old it actually is, but I know I've had the toolbox for uh, going on about 30 years. So it's been around. Once you figure it out, it's really kind of easy. This is your, your base, you know, this is ground basically. So it just goes in here. You just move this lever around until it gets vertical. Of course, I use a level. And now once you've got your bubble level, well then you know this lever is vertical. And then you just come in and read the degrees here that you can then take over to the bandsaw, to the horizontal bandsaw. Put your, put your piece of pipe in it, get the angle set just right, chop it off. Should come out exactly right. And if you look on the numbers, come from 90, come over to where the little notch mark is, count over, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2. So it's just 22 degrees off of center. That's what I have to set the bandsaw at. Cut it, bring it back, check it. Should come out just about right. So I got the arm turned on the, the Ellis. You know, this is my 1800 series bandsaw. You just loosen it up in the back back here and pivot the whole cutting attachment to 22 degrees. Get it locked down. And then just get our pipe in place. Make sure you check your throat. Now, this this guide slides back and forth. Get it set just right so it's going to miss the pipe as it comes down, but close enough to keep the blade from twisting. You know, you don't want to slide it all the way back and just leave it there. Then the blade will wobble. You get uneven cuts. So let's fire it up and see what we get. I love this saw. Let's go back to the bench. So let's see how we did here. Boy, 
Boy, not bad. Just right on the bubble. Just the way it's supposed to. So you just check it both ways with the with the level. Oops. Turn it just a little bit, line it up that way. Check it back that way. Right dead on. So now I can just take it from here, weld it to the bottom of the dish, get all that welding done, flip it over, weld it over here, make my next one, make the next one, make the next one, just keep on going. So lots of math, lots of brain power, run out of that about halfway through the week. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to what I'm doing. You guys are gonna have a great day and don't forget to come out to my website and check out what's going on out there, kevincarone.com. Have a great day. Dinner time. <laughs>